know, so they just kind of... Enemy in the container! Oh, well. Thank you for you know, pretty much confirming what I just said. First job was on Madden, uh, Madden 20. Uh, 2D animator, read animator, uh, more 2D than 3D. I do 3D every now and again. Mm -hmm. um, I'm currently a game designer. Um, I create in my own little company called One, One Blade Studio Inc., which pretty much is this umbra for the animation and games that I work on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I do a little, a lot of um, freelance work for not for like my own little clients. You know, like you know, people mm -hmm. want to do like little things, you know, designs, stuff of that nature. I don't do any uh, contract work for um, game. Uh, you know, people want to make games right now. Mm -hmm. you know, I've, I've too much focus on my old game that I just released on Android right. and trying to touch my products right now. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody comes with an idea, it, it has to have some money really involved. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My work to do yeah. work on that. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's a lot of, it requires a lot of time. Right, right. So, uh, are you, you got anything you're working on like currently that, you know, you kind of want to go into a deep dive or you got anything, you know, kind of up in the works? Yeah, yeah. There's a game I have right now called uh, Patrolling um, that, that's based on um, a, a, a web series my brother and I worked on. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, he was the writer and, you know, he did the music, but I did the animation. And, you know, like, I came up with a story, but he flushed it out. You know, like, that's, that's his thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, we, you know, like after we kind of wrapped production on that, I was like, you know, we want to try to take it somewhere else. And then mm -hmm. from the game. Mm -hmm. So right now, um, one part of the game is on Android right now. I'm pushing it towards iPhone, but it's a little harder because there, mm -hmm. there's a lot of little, uh, hiccups along uh, along the way. But mm -hmm. it was easier for Android. Android was an easier platform. Not saying it wasn't hard. It was yeah. Easier there. But in terms of certain things that I'm coming across right now, it's much easier on the Android than for the iOS. About like how you kind of first got into this. Like how did this even become a a thing for you like how did this even become something that you knew that you wanted to do i did animation and i got you know you burned out that in a while after animation you're like okay what you know i played a lot of games mm -hmm. up, you know my 80s kid you know and uh played a lot of games growing up and then you know like street fighter was nothing you know street mm -hmm. fighter mortal kombat mortal kombat a little bit but killer instincts and those like a fast-paced game i didn't get into the crazy over the top you know nbc you mm -hmm. know that no, I couldn't do that, but you know, King of Fighters, you know, Street, Street Fighter and stuff like that, I got into. Mm -hmm. And from there, I, I created, I was like, I was, you know, trying to figure out how, what's the next step after animation. And mm -hmm. I said, okay, let me try doing gaming. Cause I did, you know, I, I did websites mm -hmm. and, and I mastered Flash. And I said, okay, let me try something else. And I made a game called Board Fighters, which is like a fighting game in Flash. And, you know, I used a lot of my, you know, animation skills to just, animate old characters and people thought, well, how do you animate the characters? And I'm like, do you do like bones or some shit? And I'm like, no, it was <laughs> a full image. I yeah. animate, so that's my background. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a journey to learn that. And once I did that, um, there was something called GDC, Game Developers Conference. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, I said, let me go there and go see what's going on. Mm -hmm. You go there and I see, you know, it's almost like E3, but like a smaller niche kind of thing it's right. big now mm -hmm. but uh, when i went there i saw a lot of you know black game developers and i said yeah. oh snap there's a lot of black game developers out there yeah and you know that group the big uh that's where i was like okay yeah i guess i'm in the right you know space because you know the funny thing is that you don't know right all, all right game developers. yeah now when you meet people and you're like wait a this guy's the pre what He's the president of design in Sony. Like, how how I never knew about this stuff. Right. And you know, we all look really top. You know, black game developers, and you know, of course, and besides just black developers, just you see a lot of developers. Period. Indie mm -hmm. developers that are making, you know, people making their own little games and stuff. And you're like, yeah, this is crazy. Yeah. And 
So Born Fighters was the first game I made. You know, it was it was all right. I'm not going to say it's the best game. For me, it was great in the sense that I made a game. Yeah. A fight. Yeah. Then from there, I was like, okay, since I like this that well, so I just, you know, stop everything on animation, you know, in terms of like doing work for animation and it's a full-fledged, let me mm-hmm. do, you know, game dev. And then the one that I just released was the patrolling uh, WTH, what the hell. Um, there's a whole backstory behind that, but I'm not even going to go into that. <laughs> Pretty much, it's I broke it into two games because the What the Hell version is a survival part, and the okay. main game is a whole story. And it was easy for me to get that out first as like a free kind of a thing, and then hopefully the other one is going to be like a paid thing. Mm-hmm. But no, once I once I cross that barrier from animator to game developer, and of course learning programming, you know, because mm-hmm. that was a journey. Because my background is not programming, mm-hmm. I had to learn the way, and. It was there was no going back. There was like no, there's there's just, just so much avenues for different things. If you right. can make an app, or if you can get it on the console, app right now is the biggest thing for iOS and Android. Mm-hmm. Everybody phone, period. Right. Babies got phones. Yeah, so, yeah. right, exactly. So that was the thing where I was like, I'm gonna go that path and not mm-hmm. try it back because you, you know if well, if you make something good, you know you have potential to make money. And even if you make something good, either way, it's you know potential for people to hire you to do right, things. right. That's just so again, you know. So there is, and you learn a lot from doing game development too, in mm-hmm. terms of just how to code certain things and stuff like that. So, hmm. yeah. talk to me a little bit more about coming up with uh, One Blaze, like kind of what like uh, that's kind of your website and your hub and kind of your thing. So like, what is yeah. You know, what is that? Like, where did that come from? And kind of what do you want to do with that? Well, one place, um, how did I, uh, I came up that because I watch a lot. And then, mm-hmm. you know, like if you look at the logo, it's actually uh, it's a mushroom cloud. Mm-hmm. So like an, the one that you say, it took me a little while to come up with the concept because it was first blaze media smoking up. So, and I'm like, one blaze. But yeah, that's how that came up with. And then that made the umbrella for, you know, all my little, you know, projects. Mm-hmm. things and of course bigger things that's coming next besides the patrolling game and then trying to work with some kids games after that so tell me a little bit more about patrolling and um kind of you kind of touched on it a little bit but you said that's your game coming up and you said it's two different versions right you said it's like a survival yeah. and yeah. and um what was the other one it was a survival and then the other one is kind of like the the story based game yeah basically yeah. The story. Well, so, uh, so initially when I was designing the game, it was just going to be like, I, I liked Hyperdimension, uh, mm-hmm. that, um, hyper, sorry, Hyperzone. It was a Super Nintendo game. And I liked the way how it was in terms of the play mechanism. And that was the original direction I was going to go with the game. And then mm-hmm. it changed. Um, because then something, it was, uh, at the time I was working with a developer and he, you know, he, I came up with a concept and idea. And you know, doing Unity, but then it was just that whole disconnect. I was like, you know what? Let me try doing it myself. Mm-hmm. And then I, you know, use Game Maker Studio as one thing. So um, the patrolling game, um, as I said, it's based on the web series. There's a web animation my brother and I did, mm-hmm. and actually, I gotta talk about that first before I jump to the game. So the, the patrolling um, animation what is a hip opera. And uh, I'm not sure if you've ever seen the Predator Hip Opera. Um, you got to look that up. Just mm-hmm. remember that name, Predator Hip Opera. Mm-hmm. Um, it, so my, you know, my brother, you know, he, he raps and everything. So I was like, you know, I said, dude, remember old school hip hop, how they had to, told a story. And I said, I want you to create a story that I can actually animate. So he wrote the things. He's, he's a linguist and everything. I said, let's let's wrap out the whole thing and I'll animate it. I went mean, like, because I said, there's no black animation out there that has that like that. Where the whole thing is, a, you know, a rap animate animated space adventure. Because again, uh, it's the, the the universe is called NIGS, Negroes okay. in Galactic Space. That's okay. the world. That everything. Mm-hmm. I'm using Negro. <laughs> 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 right now, but the real, you don't already know what the real yeah. thing is. But I'm yeah. at that. Anyway, but that's the universe that is because basically what I was I was looking at. If you most most of my characters are all black you know, when I create because I look at a lot of um, a lot of black artists and there's not a lot of black artists that actually create just black characters. You know they want to do everybody else and I'm like that's cool, but since I don't see a lot of me, 
I want to love. And most of my characters in my stories are all black. Mm-hmm. Um, so we created just a, uh, the, um, so the, the patrolling is, is, the story behind patrolling is that they're space rangers. And, you know, so they're patrolling the, you know, the space waves, see if any, like, just like us, but in space. Mm-hmm. Because we, I don't see a lot of animation or things about us in space as if we're not going to exist in space. Right, 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 right. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. So my love of anime and um, it's pretty much anime made me say, okay, let me create an animation based around that. So once my brother did the first draft, I was like, oh shit, we, we got something. So mm-hmm. he did the first one and, you know, I just roughed it up. The first, first, second, the first and second were like rough artwork you know i didn't because we were just trying to see what's going on what's what's going to happen mm-hmm. and when the second one i was like okay and then so it was, it was patrolling patrolling two patrolling 2.5 and patrolling three mm-hmm. and then there was a, there's a big time gap between each one because you know we we all have our lives and stuff and mm-hmm. we do whatever. and then when he dropped 2.5 he you know like because he'll draft it up he'll call me and say hey man listen to this and then he said you know sorry brother man you know, because basically that holds his intro for one thing. And then I said, dude, I like how you started that. I spliced it, put it in. So once he did that, man, that we, I knew we had something. Because uh, mm-hmm. again, there was no, you know, you know, we are, we as a people are in a lot of different things. So mm-hmm. I was like, let me put this out there. Boom. Um, in between that, I did like something called Black Dynamite versus Pootie Tang. <laughs> okay. Throwing that out there. But, uh, but then, once we wrapped up uh, patrolling three, three, I was like, all right, you know, let me see about the game. And then the game now, the reason why I had split it into two is it was, it was just too big, mm-hmm. and it was a lot of work. And I said, you know, and I didn't want to waste time not releasing it because you know, the longer you hang on to something, somebody's going to come up with something else, and yeah. then you're going to get left in the dust. And mm-hmm. I said, you know, let me put the game into two, you know, because I already the the engine was already there, the game was working. Mm-hmm. I just wanted something out that was just fine. The, the survival game was actually an accident. I was just messing around with some code, and then you know the game was just very hectic. And I was like, you know, somebody might like this crazy crap, you know, because you know people like those yeah. kind of yeah. same gameplay. Then I did it, and then I released it. And of course, you didn't get a lot of feedback um, before it got fully released. And I had to tweak it because people say it's too hard. I'm like, eh, but that's the point. It's supposed to be how much. Yeah. <laughs> if it's easy, then it's it's a waste of time. Yeah. Basically, the survival one, I just call it what the hell. Because uh, basically, you know, like you're playing the game, you're like, damn, what the hell? Like, why is it going? <laughs> yeah. That's going to work. Control yeah. it. What the hell? Yeah. And the other one is just basically, it's, it's more flushed out. It has the what the hell mode in there as well as a mode, but then mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's a little bit more slow paced. And, you know, it, it incrementally get harder mm-hmm. versus what the hell. You, it starts off, it's hard. There's no mm-hmm. easy mode. There's like, you got to survive. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but that's pretty much how that came into play, and the most pretty much all the characters from the series came into the game, and then you know it's again it's a whole black cast. I brought them on my, my, my buddies who was a good writer. I said, hey man, write up the draft because you know I have an idea, but I think you would make it better. Mm-hmm. He took it, blew it that, made it you know really good, you know, for, for, and that's why you know I'm taking my time because I want to make sure I really de- deliver on you know based upon the writing. Of mm-hmm. what the, see the story was for the game cool last thing man before i let you go uh you were talking about the next thing you kind of got coming up is working on games for kids and doing some things for the kids so kind of go into that like what what you got going on for that okay so uh you know my son is like three um and the thing is that again we don't see a lot of games out there you know catered around us you know good games you know Mm -hmm. it's just basic little stuff and I was looking through, you know, the different learning books about, you know, our history, you know, back history in a whole, not just here or wherever, but in a whole. And I was like, okay, I want to create games that are just, you know, like try to be educational. You know, like mm-hmm. for example, like you know, one of the games was just going to be like some, you know, for my son because he he knows a lot. You know, my wife is super smart. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm smart, but she's super smart. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, she teaches him a lot of different things. But then I came across little books called um, that that basically talk about black, you know, creators, black people in general, you know, you know, black man, black love and everything. And I got to say, I'm going to make little games about different themes. Um, one, basically, that would be just matching, a, you know, a name of a person to 
um, you know, maybe what they did, but you know, verse in kids' language, you know, mm -hmm. not too common. Right. Um, but things along that line. But it, but it will be generally based around us or people. Mm -hmm. in a sense. Learning anything about the learning, like um, I, like I made a I made a simple test for myself, you know, uh, with just animals. And I said, okay, you know, what's this animal? You know, mm -hmm. you know, you could name off all the animals. I'm like, okay, that might work. You know, basically, because you know, like we use a lot of flashcards. Right. So, um, making you know, there's games out there that are flashcards, but then uh, how about games that are black team on flashcards? Right. You know, on concepts and they put it on, on Android and iPhone. And again, mm -hmm. that's a simple make. You know, it's a mm -hmm. simple make, simple transaction. And you know, it's not just simply about the money. It's more about just making sure that we have a place out there. Because again, mm -hmm. we're we're making games for everybody else. You know, we're trying to do right. super inclusive about everybody else, but we need to be inclusive about ourselves period mm -hmm. you know there's black comics out there too hit on that there's a lot of good black comics african comics that i've mm -hmm. purchased you know if you're if you're, if i see black creative stuff i'm always purchasing i don't mm -hmm. care how much it costs it's not a billion dollars <laughs> i'm purchasing that because <laughs> yeah. i try to support our, our that's the thing and I, mm -hmm. I that's so pretty much that's where i'm going with that game see where it goes i'm not caring if it's going to make money or not mm -hmm. it's just to make it because then the thing is that if you don't put it out, then who else is, you know? You, right. You're just going to sit around. You know, instead of us talking, well, well, you know, we're waiting for it. No, let's make it, you know, make it and put it out. Let's see what happens. Yeah.